Hello everyone. Welcome back to E classes of Commerce Standard 12th. In this video we are going to continue elements of directing third element that is leadership. So let's have a brief idea about the term leadership. Leadership is all about leading people, influencing people, commanding people, guiding people. So a leader leads people as he is the head of the group. Leader influences people by being an ideal leader. He commands people that means he gives orders and instructions to the persons and fourth he guides people by giving them proper direction towards achievement of goals. So leadership is all about leading people, influencing people, commanding people and guiding people. So here we have the proper meaning of leadership. Leadership is the ability to get extraordinary things done by ordinary people. That means a leader should have a quality or a skills to get the work done to achieve the desired results by ordinary people. So, it is rightly said that leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. That means, leadership is the ability to develop a vision that motivates others to move with a passion towards a common goal. It is required when people are working in a group. Leadership is a process of encouraging and motivating employees by providing proper guidance to achieve desired results or decided targets. Thus, we can say that leader by his attitude and behavior can channelize the efforts of group members towards goals. So, it can be said that leadership is a source of motivation. Here is the proper definition of leadership. Leadership is a continuous process of influencing people to strive willingly for group objectives. That means the function of a leader is to motivate continuously to the employees to achieve the group objectives. Next definition, the task of leader is to get his people from where they are to where they have not been. So the main task of the leader is to guide the employees in such a way that whatever they have to achieve, they can achieve because of a proper direction by leader. Let's study characteristics of leadership. First point is existence of followers. A leader is a leader only when he has followers. Without followers, leadership cannot exist or it cannot be implemented. So, a leader must have extraordinary qualities that influences his followers to follow him. It is rightly said by Peter Drucker, The only definition of a leader is someone who has followers. Second point, continuous process. Leadership is a continuous process as leader has to guide subordinate every time and also monitor them in order to make sure that their efforts are going in the same direction and that they are not deviating from their goals. So as long as business unit exists, leader has to provide leadership to his subordinates by giving proper direction. Third point, acceptance of leadership. It is very essential that subordinates accept their leader as a leader. Then only they will follow the directions given by leader. Fourth point, creates informal and effective relationship. Officially, leader is a head of group. But in informal way too, leader can encourage and inspire the person to achieve desired goals or decided targets by being employees, advisor or well-wisher. Fifth point, ideal personality. Leader must be an ideal person. An ideal leader is the one who can set a good example for others to follow him. That is where commitment, passion, honesty, empathy, integrity comes into play. 
So one who influences and inspires his subordinate by his attitude, behavior and nature is ideal leader. He do not have all the qualities inbuilt but some qualities are cultivated. So a leader should have an ideal personality that influences his subordinate. Sixth point, motivation. We already studied that leadership is a source of motivation. So a leader has to continuously motivate his employees to get the expected results and to achieve the objectives. Seventh point, harmony of interest. A good leader makes sure that there is harmony of interest among leader and his subordinates. If interest varies of leader and subordinate, then leadership becomes inefficient and useless. Eighth point, effect of situation. If there is sudden change in situation, it directly affects on the skill and knowledge of leader and many times he fails to achieve success. So, there is a direct effect of situation on leadership's skills and knowledge which hinders the success of business unit. So, here we have completed the characteristics of leadership. Go through the topic, revise it thoroughly. Thank you.